Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking all things sunscreen, mainly focusing on the face. I think we've all been there, you know, <laughs> when I was younger I used to put oil on myself and sunbake. Unfortunately, sun protection is something that you regret not doing when it's too late and you've already got, you know, issues. So I think uh, the sooner you can start with sun protection, the better, not just for obviously risk of skin cancers, but also anti-aging benefits. So all you youngsters watching this, get onto the sunscreen bandwagon. So I have not tried, you know, 50 different natural sunscreens. There's actually not probably 50 different natural sunscreens on the market at the moment. The difference between the conventional and the natural or mineral-based sunscreens is your conventional sort of sunscreens have ingredients that will cause a chemical reaction to stop sun damage, whereas your natural or your mineral-based sunscreens usually contain zinc oxide, some contain titanium dioxide, more so the conventional sort of chemical reaction sunscreens. Titanium dioxide is a little bit of a controversial ingredient. Some people are happy to use it, some people are not. Titanium dioxide is not great for you, but at the same time, I don't believe it can really penetrate your skin. So that's why it's kind of like a, you need to figure out if you're happy to use it or not. But definitely all of the natural sunscreens, their main ingredient that is active is the zinc oxide or the zinc. And that gives a physical barrier to reflect the harmful rays rather than causing a chemical reaction, which is why some conventional sunscreens, they suggest 20 to 30 minutes before you go out into the sun or into the water. I'm not a scientist, but that is some information that I've kind of learned from doing my own research. So as I always say, there is no judgment here. Everyone makes their own choices. It's your skin, it's your body. So you need to do your own research and figure out what is best for you. I'm going to jump straight into a couple of uh, base sort of products that have no tint or anything. They're just like moisturizing sunscreens or straight sunscreen. So the first one I have, um, I was pleasantly surprised. I have to admit I had never heard of Alluring Minerals. This is their 100% pure moisturizing sunscreen. So this is a moisturizer with a sunscreen. So you can use it daily on its own or under foundation. This is activated by zinc oxide and red raspberry seed oil. Red raspberry seed oil is known for its natural sun protection properties. Obviously being an oil, you're not just going to slap that all over your body and go, woo, I'm not gonna get sunburn. So this is an SPF of 15, which is not a huge amount. So I would recommend this for like an everyday if you're going to work or just going out shopping or you know, having a home day just for those bits and pieces through the day where you get sun exposure. But obviously, if you are having a dedicated beach day, that's probably not going to be quite enough unless you put some mineral makeup over the top. The reason why I love this is because it is so light. Like the texture, it absorbs straight into the skin. It leaves no residue. It would be great for any skin type, mature, oily, dry, it's just a great everyday product and it's a great option to wear under your makeup as well because it doesn't leave any residue. When I would pump it out before I would rub it in, I'd sort of just start rubbing it in and it was like it had little white specks in it and I think that might be the zinc oxide. So it completely disappears, like it, it's totally fine and I think you just need to make sure as with most natural products that you shake the bottle before you use it. It does have a little bit of a scent to it because it has some essential oils in it like lavender and vanilla bean oil but it's not overpowering in my opinion. Next one I have is the Life Basics by Nourished Life SPF 30 Facial Sunscreen Lotion. If you're not familiar with Life Basics, Nourished Life is an online um, natural beauty store and they created their own brand called Life Basics. So this has got SPF 
30 for UVA and UVB broad spectrum. It's vegan, it's all natural, and it's non-greasy. So this one also has calendula, rosehip oil, and green tea. And again, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. So there's no titanium dioxide in this one either. This is one of the best dedicated sunscreens that I have used on my face. It looks like it's going to be like super thick sunscreen, but it basically rubs into nothing. It doesn't leave you with a residue. It's not oily or greasy. I wouldn't really probably suggest using this every day. I think this would be better for, you know, if you are going out on the weekend or going to the beach. I think I would use this more as a dedicated sunscreen than an everyday product. But having said that, I didn't find it greasy or leaving any residue, so if you really, really love your sun protection, you could use this under your makeup. Moving on to some more sort of hybrid products, I have a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen here from Mukti Organics. This is SPF 15, and this has certified organic ingredients and native Australian extracts. So this has zinc oxide in it as an additional ingredient. So you can use it as like a, you know, an everyday, but it also has a definite SPF protector in there. You can actually get this just as a moisturizer. I chose to get the tinted moisturizer. I found this to be a little bit thicker than the moisturizer, like the Alluring Minerals, the Alluring Minerals is definitely like a, a thinner sort of consistency, a little easier to rub in. The Mukti is a little thicker. On the face, it does leave me with a tiny hint of that sunscreen look. So because it is a thicker sort of consistency, I found it did leave me with that barrier sort of look. I don't know how else to explain it. I will wear this if... I'm just having a makeup free day or I'm going, you know, out into the sun for a little bit. It is SPF 15, so it's not huge, but you could maybe wear some mineral um, powder over this, but I don't think you could get away with wearing like a liquid foundation or anything over the top of this product. So this would be more of an everyday makeup free, going to the beach kind of product in my opinion. I really do like it. It's just not something that I would wear every single day. It gives quite good coverage in terms of the tint. The color is there and it does even out your skin tone as well, which is a big benefit and the ingredients are super clean as well. So some other options for protecting your face are BB creams. The reason why natural BB creams are great for sun protection is because most of them contain natural mineral pigments which are uh, sun protecting. So they don't have a huge amount of SPF but everything helps and if you're just wearing these to work and you know you just want protection when you're out on lunch or getting to off from work these will be great for everyday use. I have a couple of options here that I wanted to show you and I like them both for different reasons. So I've got the La Marve Organic BB Cream I think off the top of my head, this has an SPF of around 11. So they have two different uh, tones. So they've got medium and they've got light. Medium is probably a little bit dark for me at the moment. I'm probably in between the two. So this is quite a thick BB cream. And some people I know do struggle to get a good finish with this because it is kind of thick. If you do have dry skin, you will need to um, make sure your skin's super hydrated before applying this. Um, and also you need to work with it very quickly because this is actually mattifying. So this is great if you have oily skin, it won't leave you looking too glowy or oily. You do get some good coverage with this too. This is probably medium coverage in terms of you know, correcting your skin tone and just evening everything out. So this has been a staple of, of mine for a few years now. And if you go back through my videos, you'll see that I use it quite regularly 
particularly with my summer makeup looks or my natural makeup looks. Another BB cream that I love is the Nude by Nature Sheer Glow BB Cream. I think this has an SPF of around 8 to 10 naturally occurring from the ingredients in the product. This is super sheer. You could use this as a primer, which would be great um, to give you that sun protection and that initial layer of product as well. It does give you a little bit of an even out, but it's not going to cover up blemishes or anything like that. This product also has a broader range of colours available, probably more for people with drier skin um, and if you're going for a no makeup look because you're not going to get a lot of coverage with this, but it blends in beautifully and I really like it on my skin. I also wanted to share um, another sunscreen that I have been using and I actually really like it. It does have mixed reviews. This is more something that I would use at the beach as a dedicated sunscreen and I probably would not use it on my face regularly unless you know I think if you're going to the beach on a holiday or something and you're doing water sports and snorkeling and you're literally spending all day in the sun and you're not undercover the whole time then you do need to go with something regardless of how it looks that actually works so this is the natural instinct invisible natural sunscreen this is SPF 30 and it's also water resistant I know it's water resistant because well I've tried it I've you know used it quite a few times but also when you go to wash the product off you can actually see the water beading over the top of it so it is um, quite a good barrier if you're going swimming etc um, this does not have titanium dioxide either um, and again the active ingredient is zinc oxide and it's quite a clean product so I find that it blends in quite well you're obviously going to get a little bit of residue and a sort of sunscreen -y look because that's what it is it is sunscreen I find it funny when people comment um, or leave reviews and they're like oh it left a residue or well doesn't your normal sunscreen leave residue like I, I know any conventional sunscreens I've used usually leave you a little bit greasy that's what happens at the beach you get greasy you get sweaty you get sand everywhere it's just the way it is. So those are a few products that I have been using to help me with my sun protection. I hope that you found them helpful. Let me know if you've tried any of them. If you do have any suggestions for me on um, any sort of sunscreen products that are natural that I should try, please let me know down below. I'm always looking for new products in that sort of area because I live at the beach. So it's really important to me to be using sunscreen regularly uh, and there's not a huge amount to choose from on the market at the moment so if you know of any that are amazing let us know otherwise don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video as always thank you so much for watching and for your support and I can't wait to see you all in the next video bye bye